All right. Well, Give us your name. Uh, my name is Sammy Black. I'm also an organizer with Portland Tenants United. I'm here, of course, to strongly urge you to extend the housing state of emergency, also to consider responding to that emergency. Uh, I was in Peninsula Park almost exactly a year ago when Community Alliance of Tenants declared that Portland renters were in crisis. Three weeks later, I was in these chambers when the housing emergency was passed. Renter protections were debated and vague promises for more help for renters gave us hope. Promises that we know now never came to pass. This emergency has not passed. Um, meanwhile, Portland Tenants United, a grassroots tenants union, barely a year old, an organization without a revenue stream, without a budget, without an office, without a single paid staff member, has become triage for Portland's burgeoning renter emergency room. People contact us every day, begging us for help. Sometimes they just want to know their rights because the only other source is CAT's renter rights hotline and a waiting, uh, waiting two to three weeks for a callback from a volunteer. Uh, this is not CAT's wrongdoing, it's yours. Why is a desperately underfunded nonprofit bearing the sole responsibility of educating tenants on their rights? Landlords abusing tenants count on us, not know, uh, us knowing better and you are their insurance policy. But sometimes the tenants that contact us do know their rights, and they know that their landlord has violated them, and they're either scared to take a stand because they know they are risking their housing, or they want to know what to do. Do you know the answer, commissioners? Do you know who a tenant can call when their landlord has only given them 30 days notice instead of 90, when they illegally fine us, harass and intimidate us, refuse to make repairs, blatantly steal a down payment sized security deposit when the rental contract is illegal? Do you know? where they can go for help, to a courtroom. But only if they can navigate the system themselves or can afford a lawyer, and all too often the lawyer tells them it's not worth it. That we could win today, but we'll be no cause evicted tomorrow. But usually they call us because they are about to legally lose their housing, maybe because of a no cause eviction or a huge rent increase. And to say they're in a panic is an understatement. They're disillusioned, devastated, depressed. De they cannot afford to move. They have nowhere to go, and this is hard for us commissioners. Sometimes we're able to give helpful advice. Sometimes we're able to get them an attorney. Many times we've accompanied them to the hell that is eviction court to offer support and guidance. But short of civil disobedience, there is often no recourse. They will lose their housing, and no one but you can do anything to stop it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Blackman.